the Huey Cam. Featuring the best of Lamont and Tonelli on 1077 The Bone. We got a, a, a guest in here this morning, Paul. John Fox. He's going to be at Tommy T's tonight and tomorrow night. Tonight and tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, Tommy T's. And th- this guy's a professional. 25 years. 25 years of being a comic. Yeah, I can, st- I can still get the girls. They just don't look good. <laughs> <laughs> I go to a party now. I look for somebody limping. You know, <laughs> it's easier to cut them from the herd. Uh, the limping llama. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I was listening to your joke thing on the radio on the way up here. Uh-huh. You had some pretty good jokes there. Yeah, I think I can top it. Oh, oh, really? A lady walks in the grocery store. Yeah. She grabs two potatoes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Puts them in a plastic bag. She walks up to the clerk and she shakes them. Uh huh. Clerk goes, "Oh my God, those look like my husband's balls." <laughs> Is your husband's balls are that big? Uh-huh. No, they're that dirty. There you go, <laughs> spectacular. <laughs> My Baby. mom told me that joke. <laughs> your mom. <laughs> Baby Yui, I think we have a winner. <laughs> <laughs> He's won tickets to Tommy T's. <laughs> Very oh, nice. I can go. <laughs> now you do what? A couple of a uh, couple of shows each night, or one show a night? We What's do one show a night on Wednesdays and Thursdays, and then Fridays and Saturdays. Arnaz J is going to be there, and he does uh, two shows on Friday, two shows on Saturday. All right. Gotcha. So you following the election at all? Uh not really. No. Not uh, really. I, I think Obama. I had a chance to play golf. I live in Chicago, mm-hmm. and one day I was coming off the course, and uh, Obama was there because he lived right across the street, and he was putting. This is like two years ago, and he, and he walked up to me and he says, "Do you mind if I play the next five holes with you?" And I said, man, I'm quitting. I said, I'm tired. It's 18 holes. I need a beer. You know? <laughs> so I had a chance to play with, with Obama, and I told him no. You big time. <laughs> you shut him down. I shut him down. I said, I don't want to play with you. Man. I, I didn't know who he was. And I, I turned on television. He's run for president. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a loser. <laughs> You're a loser. <laughs> yeah, I'm a loser. I never, I'm cute and funny, but I'm a loser. Things just don't go your oh, way. I could fall into a swimming pool full of hooters and come out sucking my thumb. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the racetrack the other day. I bet a horse yeah. called RuPaul. Yeah. <laughs> Found out it was a cow dressed like a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Next race, I put all my money on illegal alien. <laughs> I know that sucker can run. <laughs> <laughs> he got beat by Border Patrol. <laughs> <laughs> right at the wire, I'm sure. <laughs> So things just don't go your way. No, no. I, I, I got that from traveling with Dangerfield because I did two HBO specials with Ronnie Dangerfield. And, uh, and uh, he made me the pig in the cartoon Rover Dangerfield. <laughs> yeah. I, I was supposed to be the, the bulldog, you know, yeah. but I got to the studio. Ronnie goes, hey, Fox, I decided to make it a pig. It's typecast and don't screw with it. <laughs> <laughs> but I was with him every day for quite a few years. Wow. Every morning we'd wake up and have breakfast together with Ronnie Dangerfield. Is that right? Oh, he made me laugh all day. I'll tell you what, the kid, it's not easy being me. You know. <laughs> Last week I let a friend of mine ten thousand dollars for plastic surgery, and now I don't know what he looks like. <laughs> I'll tell you, my daughter, oh, my daughter, she's no bargain. She loves to have sex with the light on. She leaves the car door open. You know? <laughs> Oh, I used to be a house painter. I was a house painter for five years. <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever finish that house. <laughs> so was he on all the time when you were hanging with he him? He was or? on all the time. Was he really? Oh, yeah, he was. I mean, he Trying out new thing. material and coming yeah. up with stuff? Oh, one time we were in an elevator in between shows, and we are going up to, to his room because he, he liked to... Uh, Smoke yes, pot. absolutely. <laughs> We've heard the stories. So he called it lemonade. He's Fox. I'm going to move for some lemonade. You know, <laughs> lemonade. So, so we're in the elevator. We're headed up and uh, to the elevator. And this Japanese lady was in there. She's like 70 years old. She's Japanese, Japanese. You right. Know, four uh-huh. foot tall. Yeah. And Rodney looks at her. And he looks at me. And he looks at her. And he looks at me. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> something's going to happen. <laughs> so he lifts up his leg and he farted. Oh. Now I don't know what he was eating fish heads or what the hell, but paint stripping down her thing. <laughs> The doors open up to our our floor. Yeah. As we walk out, three people walk in, and Rodney turns to her and goes, Go ahead, lady. Tell them I did it. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to go, Come on, send it. Come on, send it. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is hilarious. Oh, yeah, it smelled like beef and broccoli in there. Oh, it's rough. <laughs> <laughs> so you've seen it all. I've been doing it for 25 years. I've had everything happen. I've had projectile puking. I've had every epileptic seizures. I had everything happen out there. I don't know, man. I'm just getting old. <laughs> My pecker only gets hard in the middle. Okay. <laughs> 
like shooting pool with a rope. <laughs> you can move your stick, but your balls ain't going nowhere. You know <laughs> Tough to play pool like that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, it's good to have you guys laugh. I'm breaking my girlfriend this week. You know? Oh, you are? Oh, really? Oh, we're at that stage of relationship where you know it's over, but you hate to lose cable. <laughs> <laughs> She's not too bright. She called me up the other day. She said, John, the light bulb in the bathroom burn out. I don't know how to change it. So I said, first you fill the tub with water. <laughs> <laughs> I called today. There's no answer. You know? <laughs> but my fact is, I just love women. I like girls with big, fat butts. Do you really? Oh, you do. Oh, you so like eventually, I like them all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of grow on you. Oh, I like middle. I like middle-aged women too. Yeah. 14, 15, 16. Oh, you know? oh, girls you can talk to. You, know? oh, you see Harry Potter? <laughs> I like the old broads, too, but I make sure they drink a glass of milk before we have sex. <laughs> really? In case they fall out of bed, they don't break a hip. You know? <laughs> That's because I care. <laughs> just a caring kind of guy. I'm a caring kind of guy. Yeah. Look at me. I'm not just a pretty face. <laughs> I'm getting a little heavy. I just tell the girls that stomach, that's all foreskin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use that one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that is beautiful. I just love it. It doesn't matter what they look. I like I used to date a midget. <laughs> really? Oh, my God. I was nuts over her. <laughs> She's dead now, yeah. <laughs> We're playing ping pong, and she ran off the table. <laughs> <laughs> You are the funniest white guy in America. <laughs> I've been doing this for a long time, man. <laughs> yeah. I can believe me. You bring your date to Tommy T's yes. Wednesday or Thursday, and I'll do all the lube work, and you go home and close. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be at home watching ESPN, wondering what the Cubs did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are funny. John Fox at Tommy T's oh, John. tonight for a show and, uh, and tomorrow night. John tonight and tomorrow, 730, and then Friday and Saturday, RNSJ is going to be all there. Right. So it's going to be a great week at Tommy T's. And <laughs> Bring your date and you'll have a great time. TommyTees.com <laughs> if you want tickets. Get them now before it's sold out. 927. Hey, John, thanks for coming in here thanks today. Guys. Great stuff. Right. Lamont and Tonelli. Weekday mornings, 5 to 10 on 1077. The Bone.